update. Update on timer. Chuck Baller's timer. NFTs. So, people are slowly finding my stuff, but still, at this moment in time, no sales. But, what we have here is everything that's, uh, so we're going to do the time thing right off the bat, so you can understand anything in uh, copper is days, bronze, hours, gold is seconds, and silver is minutes. Right here, so there's a minute. So, all you need is a timer that goes back to 02 22 or 02 22 2022. So, all coppers are five as of today, right now. As you watch this video, they're $599 for the copper, bronze are $14,393, silver $863,586, and all gold are $51,815,206. Uh, I'm done trying to convince people in the prices and everything, so as of right now, you still can get some of these at a dollar and stuff like that, they're under a dollar. But that's all going to change because I'm putting everything so all so the starting prices when I switch them all over as of right now I've been switching them over coppers are going to be 0 0.007 ETH which is roughly $10 bronze are 0 0.014 ETH which is roughly $21 silver is 0 0.07 ETH which is about $100 and gold is 0.11 ETH which is about $175. That's what I'm going to be doing. And why sell myself short? I'm trying to sell these, and I know some sold for a dollar and stuff like that, but I think that time's passed where, you know, I think I have a unique... I have a unique project, Warpaint. Nobody in the NFT world is, NFT world is doing Warpaint. Where it took me five years to do all this war paint on my face, not Photoshop. This is real war paint. This is your financial warrior for the future. So it's pretty simple. Now, now I got a problem because OpenSea stopped me from doing hand bombing one by one so this collection is stopped at 835 nfts on the chuck baller timer nft which is called timer nfts and i get people say oh you should have called this warping nfts or whatever and i said yeah you know what i could but the whole idea is it's all priced by time cut out Price by today, whatever happens to be the time on the counter, okay? You don't buy just, you don't buy for the future thinking you're going to make money because chances are, you know, I'm unknown project right now, so let's see what happens. That's why I set my pricing. All coppers are $599, which it's this copper trait, all bronze trait is at $14,393 and all silver traits are $863,589 and all gold traits are $51,815,386 and that is just the way it is. End of story. So since they don't have, so they took lazy minting out means that I can't do it for free put them up one by one I can't even put and all these are frozen so whatever there's a, a mess here like the pirate fl fl flag there's nothing in there because it's uh, now it's all frozen I can't even fix it because they froze everything they froze metadata I can't I can't go in and, and fix anything now if there's a something needs to be fixed because they froze it all so I still want, you know, 
Maybe this isn't stopped at 835. Maybe there'll be 10,000 of these someday. I don't know. Because if, if I have to automate them, put them up, I might as well just do 10,000. Instead of 1,000. Stop at 1,000. Because who knows? Maybe... I don't know. I did a little bit of research why people do 10,000. It's because there's 10,000 basically pieces for sale, 10,000 NFTs for sale. And you need a bunch of people up to 5,000, 6,000, 7,000 people buying and selling these. That's why people do those 10,000. You know what I mean? For me to do one out of a thousand, there'd be a lot of own, little uh, small time owners, but maybe not enough to keep it going kind of thing. But since mine are all controlled by the pricing is all controlled by these badges, by these traits, bronze, copper, silver, and it's all controlled by that. So maybe, maybe this is all there's going to be for this one. And then you get uh, my ape yachts. My ape yachts is the same thing. And this is frozen, frozen at, at, what is it frozen at? It's frozen at 561. Uh, the, uh, supposed to be 561 out of 1,000, but I can't do any hand bombing anymore. So I'm 561, that's it. That one. Of my peppy. I'm frozen at 410. There's only 410 puppies now. Why is that loading slow? It usually doesn't load that slow. Well, it's pretty slow for my computer. Uh, and, and maybe it's going to be like that forever. And then uh, gold bars are frozen at... Meaning that maybe in the future that's all there's good. Why is this so slow? Maybe in the future this is all gonna be frozen up, frozen up this number 547 out of a thousand, or maybe 547 out of 10,000. Maybe in the future here I might just say screw it and put 10,000 of each one up. You know, it might happen. Because now I'm changing my mind. Like I always said, there'd be only maybe a uh, max of a thousand of these. But, you know, maybe if enough people come in, why? I'll just say, hey, somebody go from 548 to 10,000. I don't know. Like, and you see all these other creators and everything. All these, you know, they have 10,000. So why am I limiting myself? I don't know. Maybe they'll all only. Maybe this will get somewhere where 547 is good enough for this this one. And this one is done at 342. And this one, the last one, even gold. 342 and. See what happens. These are unique, very unique. War painted warrior, North American native, treaty status native. So, if you're watching this, thank you so much for watching. If you're a collector, if you're somebody in the future that uh, stumbling onto this now, thank you for purchasing. If you did, and uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe maybe discussions in the future maybe it's good that we'll keep these low maybe maybe my thing is I, the reason i did them one by one is because i'm not as a native you're not supposed to copy art you're not supposed to copy you're supposed to put original art out original art out and to me to go from 342 automated up that's like copy but i don't know I don't know. We'll see what happens. So we'll see what happens. Uh, other than that, Open C took lazy minting out, and maybe that's a good thing. Oh, and the onion trolls. Onion trolls don't have no time thing on it. I like my onions. I like them. So unique onions. 
So. I don't know what to say. Lazy minting's gone. Maybe too many people were just slapping stuff up there and just a whole bunch of garbage artwork was going up there. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe they want to stop that. Because you can't do that anymore. But thank God I had time to get some up. Because now at least I have stuff up that uh, see this is what I'm doing you ain't gonna get stuff cheap no more you want gold and silver I I believe I put all the gold and silver up I don't know if I missed any so Thank you for coming into the timer community. If you have a if you have a financial war, that's what this is, a warrior. And if if this goes somewhere and at this moment in time, maybe there's less than a hundred sold. And I really believe in my project and I literally put up every I'm getting really hungry. I gotta I gotta go grab a chicken or something. KFC, you know what? It's KFC day. Yeah, it's KFC day. So, such a unique project, and nobody knows it's here. Such unique NFTs. Everything's cartoony. Every and then more cartoony stuff come. Look at this one. That's really nice. A lot of cartoony stuff out there, and then here is an NFT that every single day. the price just boggles my mind literally boggles my mind but maybe art is not eye the beholder or something I don't know maybe it's too weird to have a war painted face guy there, but you know, I'm a native, you know, how many natives in North America have war paint on their face on an NFT right now? None. Time is our friend. Time is their ally. It's pretty simple. Every single NFT in the world is over there. Timer NFTs are over there. Either you are standing over there, or you're standing over here. And I, what the hell happened here? And you're standing over here with time on your side. And floor prices. Uh, where's the activity? Where, what's going on here? How come, how come, okay, what what's the activity here? And people, you know, and different people say, oh, there's no other people. Are oh. There's activity, and people say, oh, there's, you know, this thing's dead. This thing's dead. This is the sales. This is real sales right now. This is what's showing, at, and they're selling every second. NFTs are selling every second. And here's, you know, people buy this for 310 bucks, hoping this will go up. Chances are it'll go up because this is a popular one. But my stuff, if if people started buying, selling my, cracking, what the hell is cracking? If people buy, started buying, selling my stuff, chances are It'll, it'll catch on here and then next thing you know look, look at Zuki six and they dropped a lot they they used to be like uh, let's go to polygon changes to see 
This is where my stuff's up in Polygon Chain, but I got my stuff as ETH. Which, that might create a little bit of a mess. Some of this. So, let's go. Listings. This is the stuff that have dreams like me that are putting stuff up. This is who I'm competing against. Literally competing against. A lot of stuff going up right now. But I should run into my stuff here. Kraken. Uh, probably somebody else. Yeah, some people are already reselling it. You know, if you're smart, you buy a whole bunch of those. Buy like a thousand of them. Probably all cheap. Just... God, you guys. My stuff is so unique. And a, and a lot of this, you know, okay, people buy this straight for two $2.58 basically, and, and chances are it's going to go up, but if there's no turnover sales, like, look at this, like, 52 cents, people are buying it and just trying to get rid of it, seems like. They're listing it, trying to make a couple dollars, basically. And there's a lot of those. So somebody put all a lot of those up. And that's who I'm competing against. And people are buying it. This sure look like the number that guy bought my stuff. Sure looks like it. My stuff's buried way down the list. Let's see. Let's see. Unfortunately, Kraken is just like oh, whoever's selling this. See, look at a lot of these are sold. Thirty-six cents each. Like and maybe that's funny. Maybe it's funny. You, you get a Kraken. You know, whoever's putting that, I was probably making a serious money. And then here, they, here's me just struggling. Struggling, you know, and nobody believes in my stuff. And I put my stuff for sale every single day. I list it every single day. And. Okay, my stuff's way down the list here somewhere. I actually put that a long time ago now. Yeah, it's like an hour. What am I doing? It's like an hour ago. So let's just take a look at this project. So it's got no blue check mark. So, but there's a thousand three hundred three three owners. Let's see if there's any most rares in there. Most rare, four hundred ninety-nine Matic. Somebody putting these up for serious money already. That's what I bump against, guys. That's what I'm up against. But, only time will tell, you know. I was watching a whole documentary in D-Gods and Frank D-God there and how he started and his is worth $250 million now. And, you know what? I think I could pass that guy in, in the long run. You know. It just takes somebody coming in. Why is he still at a dollar? I put these. I have to. So I have to wait from the. I have to wait for those to go. To run out. In order to put it. Okay. Well, I guess you guys can get some gold ones for like nothing. Yeah, one Matic. 52 cents I, I so when I when I redid all these ones to 200 it didn't take obviously so 50 million 
lottery ticket. <laughs>